during the distribution process was there was heavy rain the police officers from the mpc came over Because we thought we had a lot of food being distributed, but essentially 20,000 meals every day. Um, you know, although it's a big amount, I think uh, you know there are more people out there. We had to really be in a tight spot when certain CCs were maxed out. The SG United Book Purpose Initiative started about three weeks ago. Primarily, a, a group of friends uh, coming together and us saying that. This year, the Ramadan, the month of fasting, is going to be very different from previous years and it's going to be unprecedented. Our mosques are closed, as with the daily iftar that's given out at the mosque will also be not uh, you know, being given out. So every year, the mosque also hands out porridge, a bubo, at the mosque in the afternoon to the public to just uh, pick up and, uh, and, and then use it and have it when they're back home. But this year, what you're seeing is the mosques are closed and they're not also accepting any donations, right? So people who want to donate, who want to give in the spirit of Ramadan are not able to do so. And people who benefit from the meals that are distributed at the mosque are not having access to such meals daily. And to some families in times like this, these are probably the only proper meal of the day because they're fasting from dawn to dusk. So we didn't want them to go hungry. And we also wanted to honor and show our gratitude and appreciation to our frontline healthcare workers and the family for all the sacrifices. So it was a function of uh, matching the demand and supply because with COVID-19, a lot of the Muslim caterers, they were um, you know, having loss of businesses, uh, cancellations of functions, etc. There a lot of spare capacity. So how can we then you know, have them cook the meals and uh, the meals being you know, delivered or collected by the beneficiaries who would uh, otherwise go hungry. With a lot of moving parts, with a lot of organizations involved, what we essentially did was each organization led their own vertical of what they were good at and what they were committed to in delivering to ensure that the entire uh, operation was successful. We are distributing about 10,200 packets of food to the Zakat beneficiaries across Singapore who are uh, on, on Moise's record, close to 7,500 uh, or so food packets via the various CC locations, about 1,000 to 3,000 packets of food uh, you know, on a daily basis to the various hospitals on Singapore to support our frontline healthcare workers who are breaking fast and investigate that. When I was on the ground at Henderson CC, during the distribution process, was, there was heavy rain, the police officers from the MPC came over with a bunch of umbrellas to give to the beneficiaries who were, uh, you know, collecting the food, but otherwise who didn't have umbrella, who will get wet, and uh, you know, in the, uh, with the heavy downpour that was happening. So that was something really heartening to see that people who have no direct links to the initiative coming forward, uh, you know, to then contributing in whatever ways that they can. And how Singaporeans can participate? First, they can uh, donate generously and contribute towards the cost on giving.sg. Secondly, they can volunteer at the various CCs. And thirdly, it's really to share this message with those people in need so that they can then go on to the platform and register. And in fact, many of them, you know, some of the older demographics, they unfortunately may not be tech savvy. So if you're able, kindly, you know, pass the word to them and help them register online as well. We don't have delivery to their households except for the zakat beneficiaries. But uh, if you're able to then pick up the food for your neighbors or for your family members who are unable to go down to the CCs, I think that's highly encouraged and uh, you know we just want everybody to play their part and we just don't want people to go hungry uh, during this period.